Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Object Oriented Programming. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about some of the special string operations in Java. We will see how to extract some characters from a given string in this video lecture. There are several ways by which we can extract characters from a given string class object. Since strings are treated as objects in Java, it's not possible to directly access the characters like we do in C programming language. So since string is a class in Java, as we all know, to access the methods inside a class, we need to use the string objects. And each string that we create is treated as a string object. So for extracting characters and for doing other uh, other operations also there are some built-in or predefined methods inside the string class the methods that we use to extract characters from string are caret get cast get bytes to car array these are the four methods that we have to use to extract characters from the given string object we will see one by one now First of all, we will see the method named caret. As you can see, we have to pass one parameter to this method and the parameter is of type integer and in index. That means we have to pass the index number from which we have to extract the character. So when we call this method, we have to give an integer number as a parameter and that parameter indicates the index number of the character that we have to extract. And always index number begins from zero and this is used to extract a single character from a string so whenever we have to extract only a single character only one character from the same given string we have to make use of this method we will see an example right now in this example we have created a string literal that is str and the value of that string is welcome to string handling guide and as i mentioned the string index numbers always the index numbers start from zero so at index number 0 it will be w, at index number 1 it will be e, index number 2 it will be l and it's, it goes on like that. So here see we have used a character variable because this char at method is, is used to retrieve a single character. So to hold a character we need a character variable. So char ch1 is a character variable that is used to hold the character at index number 0 so index number 5, index number 11 and index number 20 so index number 5 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so it will be M so when we execute these lines of code we will get the output as WMSN we have used the system.out.println statement so each of these lines will be in different different lines so this is the output of this programming lines of code I hope caret method is clear to you it is used to extract a single character but what if we need to extract more than a single character from a string at a time for that we can make use of the method named get cast so this method is, is used to extract more than a single character from the given string and the syntax of this method will be some with something like that void get cast int, uh, int a string start string and char array and array start so as you can see there are four parameters for this method and the return type of this method is void that means this method does not return anything so whenever we have to call this method we have to pass four parameters and the purpose of this method is to extract multiple characters at a time from the given string object now we will see what does these parameters mean the first two parameters string start and string end means the index numbers of the characters from the given string object that we have to extract for example if I have to extract the characters from the first index till the 11th index then I have to use I have to give the 1 and the 11 that, that two numbers 1 and 11 as the first and second parameter of this method so the first two parameters indicates from which index number we have to start copying the string the third parameter as you can see it's a character array So it's a character array so what we mean here is, is we have to copy the characters starting from this index ending at this index into this array named ARR so this method does not return anything but instead of that 
it will copy all the characters from the string object starting from this starting index ending at this ending index into this character array arr and the fourth parameter is int array start that is if we want to copy and paste the characters starting from string start ending at string end from a particular index inside this array then we can use of we can make use of the fourth parameter suppose I have a string named s inside that s there is a lengthy string I have to copy the index uh, characters from index number 1 to 5 so it will be copying the characters from index number 1 to 5 from the given string s and if I want to copy and paste those characters from index number 10 inside the array arr I must mention the index number 10 here so the fourth parameter is used to indicate the starting point inside the array from which this pasting of characters must take place we will see an example right now and um, before that this array arr must be large enough to store the substring that means size of the array is only five and if you have mentioned more than five characters to be extracted in that case the remaining characters will not be stored inside the array so the array that we are going to use to store the uh, substring must be large enough to hold the substring otherwise the remaining characters will be ignored so in this example as you can see str is equal to hello world and I have declared a new array of character type and uh, its size is mentioned as 4 so it is capable of storing only only 4 characters and I have used the get cast method where str is the string object so to call the method get cast I have to use object name dot class name so we are calling that method and see the first in and we have mentioned the starting index number and the ending index number so here index number one the first matter one means I have to start extracting from the index number one of str so str one is e so I have to start extracting from e and I have to go up to five excluding five index number five so index number five will be index number one is e two is l three is also l four is o and five is space so starting from the index number one I have to go up to index number five but without including it so the fifth index character will not be included so this space will not be in included so it will be e l l and o that is getting extracted now i have to copy these four characters e l l and o to this array ch starting from the index number zero of this array ch so inside the ch array which is a character array i have to start copying and pasting from the index number zero so when now when we print this array we'll, get, get, we'll be getting the output as e l l and o I hope it is clear so this fourth parameter here it is zero that means I have to copy and paste the characters from the index zero of the array ch if this fourth index or fourth parameter was something else other than zero say two then all the characters e l l o will get pasted only from index two of the array ch that is a meaning or that's a use of this fourth parameter this is the output of the previous program as you can see we are getting the output as E L L O so here even though the end index number is mentioned as 5 and the index number 5 is pointing to this character that is space that character will not be included so the get cast method starts copying or that starts creating the substring from the starting index and it will go up to the ending index mentioned but it would not include the character at the end index so here one is fun, uh, the index number one belongs to the character e then two three and four and five is the space so up to this point we have to copy but the fifth index character which is the space it should not be included so it will not be copied only the characters e l l and o will be copied and it will be pasted inside the array named ch from index number zero of the RACH. So far we discussed two methods they are caret which is used to extract only single character from string object and then we discussed about get cast which is used to extract multiple characters at a time. Now what if you want to extract some characters from the given string and if you want to represent those characters in their ASCII values or in, this, in their byte values. For that we need to use the method named get bytes. 
so this method extracts the characters from the string object and then convert those characters into their uh, into an a byte array so the syntax of using this method is byte get bytes as you can see the return type is not void here the return type is actually an byte array and this method does not require any parameters also because this method is actually inside the class string so like in the previous case we use we use the object name the string object to call the method caret as well as get cars suppose str is the string the object name then str dot get cars or str dot caret that was the that is a syntax of calling a method by using the object similarly this method can also be used or can also be invoked by using the string object so this method does not uh, require any parameter but it returns a byte array so whenever we call this method we need to use a byte array to hold the result this method is going to return an example of this method usage will be like this string str is equal to hello and we are using that object str to call the method get bytes so when we call this method get bytes this method will be returning a byte array so we need to store that array that is being returned by this method so we need to use a byte array to store that so byte b equal to str dot get bytes so when this method is invoked all the characters inside the string str will be converted into bytes and it will be stored inside the array named b now the last method of character extraction is by using the method to char array this method is actually an alternative of get cars method in which we are getting the characters from the string object here in this method when we use this method it converts all the characters in the given string object into an array of characters that means this method will be returning an array consisting of all the characters inside the given string in the get cars method we can specify from which index number we have to extract the characters and create the array in this case in two car array we will be converting all the characters there is no option for mentioning the starting index and any end index here this method when we use this method the all the characters inside that string object will be converted into or and stored in, in, in an character array and it is the best and easiest way to convert a string into a character array because we don't have to specify any starting index or end index or any we have, don't have to mention any array name etc just call the method this method will return back the character array or char array of characters from the of that of the string object syntax of this method is char array to char array so here as we can see the method does not require any parameter but it returns an array of characters we see we'll see an example right now so here str is equal to hello world and we have used this character array because when we call this method to char array it is going to return a character array so we need to store that somewhere so for that we have to use a character array here so char ch is equal to str dot to char array means it will convert all the characters or it will convert this entire string str into an array of characters and when, when we print that character array ch we will get the output as hello world but the the thing is but the result will be here we it's not possible to access each character by str of 0 str of 1 str of 2 etc because str is actually a string object so when we convert that string object into into an array of characters now we can access each character one by one like ch of 0 will be h ch of 1 will be e ch of 2 will be l likewise otherwise we have to use the caret method str dot caret of 0 str dot caret of 1 etc like that so when we use this two character method it will convert all the characters into a character array then we can um, do the array operations for handling or for doing anything in a uh, for in doing anything uh, based on this object or string object so we are actually converting the string object into a character array that's the importance of this method we shall conclude now in this video lecture we discussed four different ways of extracting characters from a string they are get cars method get bytes method caret method and two car array method these are the four most commonly used methods for extracting characters from a given string that is all in this video lecture thank you so much